Chase here. Thanks for watching. Um, Saturday morning, and that means last night was Friday night. Friday nights really don't have any significance for me other than it indicates that the work week is over. Well, not really, because I'm fixing to go to work. But of an evening, I usually come home, make me something to eat, uh, Facebook and uh, YouTube until uh, I start to get tired, and then I'll put a movie, movie in the DVD player and fall asleep watching a movie. Well, last night, Tahlequah had its uh, Christmas parade, and the company I worked for, they had a float enter, and I was invited to go with my coworkers and watch the parade. Well, as circumstance had it, I had the opportunity to put on a, uh, <laughs> a gingerbread man costume and participate in the parade. And I had an absolute blast. I'm animated. I'm an extrovert. And I love to entertain. And being in that costume, incognito, nobody knew who I was. Nobody knew who I was, except whenever I took it off. Because the way the costume's made, there's a small fan that blows inside the costume which increases the air pressure and blows it up. Well, uh, I was doing the running man and one of the seams ripped. So the air is escaping. We got some tape, we taped it up. It worked for about three quarters of the uh, parade route. And I was unable to remedy the problem after that. But I was totally in my element. Um, entertaining people, the antics that I did, responding to um, the, the younger generation's uh, request to do the granny, uh, just interacting with the people watching the parade. I had an absolute blast. You know, whenever I was actively using drugs. I, I never even would have thought about that. I wouldn't even thought about attending the parade. And last night, it, it just, it, it just showed me how many more aspects of my life that I've been denying myself. I like to tell people, um, you know, I don't care if you're laughing at me, with me, or about me, as long as you're laughing. And it's true. You know, I mean, a lot of my humor is self-deprecating, like um, Rodney Dang Dangerfield. If you don't know who Rodney Dangerfield is, Google it. I love that word, Google. Um, <laughs> Google Rodney Dangerfield and listen to his uh, type of comedy. And that's what a lot of mine is like. You know, sobriety has opened so many doors. Now, when I say sobriety, I'm talking about my act, my um, abstinence from my meth use. I still like to imbibe every once in a while. Now, hold on real quick. Cayman Jack, whenever you're thirsty and you don't want just water, Try a Cayman Jack. Um, <laughs> this was not endorsed by Cayman Jack. I'm not receiving any compensation for it. I just like Cayman Jack. I do not own the rights. I do, I'm not affiliated with them. So hopefully this video won't get um, deleted from YouTube. But um, I was in drama in high school. I participated in a play with the uh, Sepulpa Community Theater. Um, after I got out of high school, I think I was 21. I was still married, so I was probably 20, 21. And I love acting. I love entertaining. I like making people laugh. Um, and last night, 
whenever one of my bosses asked me if I was going to the parade. You know, I, I, I kind of just wanted to come home and do my thing. Come home, make something to eat. Facebook and YouTube until I got tired. Do a little bit of laundry. But my boss, um, I don't have permission to use his name. I'm sure he wouldn't mind, but without permission, I'm not going to use it. One of my bosses, he, he just said simply, let's go. <laughs> and so I quit what I was doing and I went to the parade. Initially, I wasn't going to be participating in it, but one of my coworkers, there were five costumes, uh, ripped a hole in his. And he started filling out, so he didn't want to take the extra one, and nobody else did. And of course, I volunteered. And I had an absolute blast. Um, I worked last Saturday, so I had a little bit extra money. And I bought some more utensils. So I have more things for my home. If you're actively using a drug that is ruining your life, I'm going to challenge you to quit, to seek help from any assistance program you can find, whether it's a faith, philosophy, or religion, whether it's a um, formal rehabilitation center, whether it's doing an introspective inventory about your life, make that decision to quit. Because life is for living. And when you're doing drugs, you're not living. I drink, but I don't get drunk. Every once in a while, I'll still smoke marijuana to help me sleep. I'm not stoned 24-7 like I was in high school. It just helps me sleep. I'm an insomniac. I probably haven't smoked any in probably a week. You can say what you want about marijuana, but it has its um, benefits. You can say what you want about alcohol, but I don't abuse it. But there are no redeeming benefits of meth, pills, heroin. I've never done heroin. Cocaine. Evaluate your life. Decide what you want it to be. And if you're okay being drugged up and missing out on this opportunity that is of an astronomical percentage to experience, that's on you. Don't blame anybody else. Don't make excuses. Because if I can overcome my addiction, then so can you. I've got to finish getting ready to go to work. My boss is on his way to pick me up. Hopefully, <laughs> within the next couple weeks, I'll have my license and you know whenever I do, I'm going to share it with you guys. As always, thanks for watching and I'll talk to you later.